Hello, this is Five Tells the Cons. My name is Casey, coming back with you, and we're going to do the uh, completion of the the quail house. And if you've been following along with that, uh, we told you that we would make a, uh, a running gear for it, and uh, therefore, that's what we have done, and we're going to show you how and why, and, and uh, this is our third one. And uh, they they're nice to have. You can pull your you can pull your uh, quail house around and move it from location to location. So anyway, we're going to get after it. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get after the wheels. Now, if you come down here, <coughs> and I'm going to you know pull this wheel off. And it's a 10 inch, uh, well, pipe size, you know, iron pipe size is always inside diameter. So it's 10 inch, uh, 10 inch pipe. That's three A's. And uh, uh, this is for your, your eight foot of two inch by three sixteenths inch flat comes in. And you'll weld it in there like this. You know, it'll look like the Santa Fe Railroad Cross. But you got two bearing surfaces. You got an iron wheel. A tire that will never go flat. Now you don't have to make these. You know, you can buy... You can buy wheels and, and uh, find wheels out there. Uh, but we're dealing with a two inch... Uh, not a two inch, a half inch bolt. Your wheels are going to be a, a half inch more. So, I'm going to show you first, first off about the steering axle, the front steering axle, and uh, how that all comes together. Now, you're dealing with, you've got 12 foot of pipe here that you're dealing with. You can make one of these with 12, 12 feet of pipe. All right, now, here's your front axle. And what you'll, what you'll want to do is take a uh, 3 16 by 1 inch flat, 6 inches long, and you'll drill that out to 1 half inch diameter. And then you'll take, uh, I did this, this with map gas, you know, the yellow... Uh, little butane torch. I got it, you can get it hot enough to where you can bend metal. And uh, anyway, build, bend your uh, axle. And uh, you want to give yourself about 10 inches. And you can always cut off, you know, give yourself enough, but get your, give yourself a, a 90 degree angle. And uh, then you can slip your six inch uh, tie rod down over it and then weld it underneath and then now for your wheel whatever type of wheel you're going to be using you know these are two inches wide so you got two inches uh, to work with so this will go in here your axle and then your uh, your washer and your color pan eighth inch diameter cotter pin. So, also, pay attention in that uh, you're going to have a, a right and a left of these. So, this is probably the, the most uh, most work you're going to do is getting your front axle uh, going. But you can do this. All right, now back over here. Now the bearings for your front axle are pipe fittings also. And they, they'll be half inch by quarter inch reducer bushings. And you'll need to have four of those. 
and you'll you'll want to drill those out to half inch so that your axle will fit up, up in here like this and swivel. That's your battery surface. Okay. Now I'm gonna put this back together here a little bit and uh Get this jack, uh, get it unjacked and show you about the uh, the swivel, you know, on your front uh, steering axle. I'll get this wheel back on here and, and we'll show you, you know, just how how simple it really is, what you can do with pipe fittings. And uh, I've, I've seen greenhouses made of, uh, of uh, iron pipe, half inch, you know, the frames. All right, so we're gonna give you, you know, all the, all the stuff here. If you do not want to make your own wheels, you can eliminate the uh, eight foot of three sixteenths by two inch flat. But you will need nine inches of it for your front tongue. Nine inches. All right, now. <clears throat> You'll want to uh, drill a, uh, a quarter inch hole. You know, all of your fasteners here are uh, quarter inch diameter. So you'll, you'll, have a, you'll have a quarter inch drill bit, I'm sure. But anyway, center punch it and get that uh, in the center as, as best as you can. And uh, anyway, Get your bolt. Your bolt's going to be like two and a half inches for your front pivot here, and the same with your uh, your front tongue. This will be uh, the longest piece of pipe that you'll have for the quail house. Thirty nine inches. Then here's one of where one of your five T's come in, and then your handles, you know, you'll have scrap left over. We will with the uh, quarter inch bolt on here, you know, your swivel here is, that'll be four inches of uh, one inch by three sixteenths flat. You can form that, do that device without back gas. But anyway, here's uh, here's how we swivel. Pretty nice and smooth. Let's get this jack off of here. See how that is? Now, from the front of your 9 inch piece of 2 inch by 3 sixteenths flat, you will come back 3 inches for your pivot here on your T. You see? Now your tie rod, which is also 3 16 by 1 inch flat, why well, you'll want that to be 32 inches. You know, if you really wanted to trick this out, you could put tie rods, or uh, not tie rods, but turnbuckles in. But uh, 
Here's a pretty good way to get yourself a, a set of running gear for uh, whatever purpose that you have. Uh, whether it be, you know, this particular uh, size of quail house or if you want to make running gears for uh, whatever you decide that you need to have running gears put on to. Now, if you come over here, we want to get on, on the back axle. And lift this up here a little bit and pull this wheel off. I want to show you another uh, You know, a, another pipe fitting, which you you will need two of. And this axle is uh, pretty much of a, a live axle. It turns independently inside of its uh, axle housing as well as on the wheels. So on each side, you've got three bearing surfaces. All right, so again, we use a uh, reducer, a uh, bail reducer half inch by quarter inch and you'll drill that out to half inch for your uh, axle and uh, now your axle housings you'll have four of those and you'll cut those out to 14 inches and then you'll travel Wheel back on here. Now, here we are. All right. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's just get a we're going to just hold this for a little bit uh, so you can get uh, an idea of the hardware. Okay, I believe what uh, We've got that. I put this in the back of this tank, which is going to be, uh, we use these to uh, catch the droppings. And, uh, you know, I'll always have a record of what, uh, how, how this uh, got put together. Enough of that. Now, Whenever you're bringing your your uh, back, your rear or the axle up to your uh, steering axle, you really can't do that. Well, you can, but you know it's kind of a a real pain. So here's where unions come in. Here's where that one union comes in. Or you can bring it all together. And firm everything up, and everything's uh, all together. And you know, you can put the union anywhere you want to, according to what sizes of pipe you have left over from your scrap. So uh, that's where that comes in. It makes everything so much easier and brings everything in for you, where you don't have to take it apart and put it back together repeatedly. You know, like I have in the past. But anyway, if you'll come over here and uh, here, here's your tools. You know, your uh, your tools are, that I've used. I do have a I do have a a, a two dollar drill press, but uh, I could not do the wheels. Uh, on it because it only had a four inch center so I had to do it with a hand drill here 
but here are your, uh, you know, the things you're going to have to have, you know, your half inch pipe threader, you know, and, uh, you, you could do it in like a home shop vise, and if it turns on you, you can use a pipe wrench to keep it from turning. Your pipe cutter, you know, your uh, eighth inch drill bit, you know, that's your pilot bit for, you know, for your step drilling. You know, even though you center punch, why uh, yeah, a drill will walk on you. So, anyway, I recommend step drilling. We got eighth inch, three sixteenths, quarter inch. I don't recall, but then here's your half inch drill bit, and you will have to have the drill half inch drill bit for your steering uh, your steering struts tie rods on your steering axle. You'll have you'll still have to have a half inch and also to bore out your bushings and your bell reducers. So gotta have a half inch. Now on the quail house, you know you run your axles through uh, two by fours. You'll need a uh, a, a hole saw or a uh, paddle bit, but uh, the outside diameter of half inch pipe now is seven eighths, and uh, you drill those out for seven eighths for your axle housings and axles and such. And uh, you know, then the hacksaw, good hacksaw. You know, I, I cut most everything out by hand. And uh, you know, there's 32 teeth per inch, and there's 24, and there's uh, another one. But I would recommend, uh, you know, if you're cutting metal like this by hand with a hacksaw, I would really recommend a uh, 24 teeth per inch hacksaw blade. You know, if you're doing it by hand, it works a lot better, and they seem to last a lot longer. Put a little oil on them, you'll be okay. All right, well, that just wraps it up pretty much on the panel houses. You know, this is our third one. And, uh, you know, this, the, these measurements and build materials are, are for this particular panel house. But you can make these running gears for whatever kind of thing you want to put running gears on that you have to move periodically. You know, I like things on wheels and, and uh, you know, you can do this with not much of anything at all. Anyway, we want to thank everybody on the, uh, on the, the Quail YouTube channels. You know, Chris, you know, was the inspiration to, uh, you know, the basic design. But uh, other of you have uh, contributed also. But uh, that's about it on the Quail House. You know, I'm not going to put the roofs on it yet because uh, we pretty much got them in underneath of uh, cover. And uh, that'll be another time. And I don't think you need to have a demonstration on that, do you? So, anyway, we got. Good running gears. You can make it do whatever you want it to do. And uh, you don't have to have two people on. You can get your quail or your chicks. If you're, you're brooding baby chickens, you can put them in the right place at the right time of year in the shade or early sun, you can move them around. Anyway, we'll be back with you on another project, and we'll see you on our next video. And thank you for watching.